Hi ladies, I'm here today with a um, blanket reveal of my new baby that I got. As some of y'all may have seen, I did a live box opening on Facebook of him and I've also posted a couple pictures and everyone seems to really love him, but he's a beautiful baby. So here is the um, artist and nursery that he was made by, just to start out with that. He was made by Infinite Dreamborns on Facebook. And that artist is also known as Kayla. You might know her. Um, she's a very unique and fun lady. And she is really talented. She paints vinyl also. But she's recently started painting silicone. And she is quite a natural at that. She's You'll see when you see the baby. How um, much of a natural painter she is for silicone. So that's her nursery name. I'm going to give you that information now. So that once you see this baby and fall in love with him, you might want to go get one of your own from Infinite Dreamborns on Facebook. So there is that information, and we're going to start. He is a snuggle baby, and on or cuddle baby. Some call snuggle baby, some call cuddle baby. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to show you his legs, and this baby would be a 20, 21 inch baby, where zero to three months in large newborn. So just showing you his body, you've all kind of seen, I love this vintage outfit she sent him with. She knows I love vintage clothes. It says, thanks, thank heaven for little boys. And it's all embroidered there on his chest. He doesn't have a hat or anything on, or, I mean, he does have a hat on, but he doesn't have anything on his face besides his blanket. So I'm going to show you his face, and he is the, I'll just give you this, he is the most realistic baby that I actually have in my collection for silicone. Here we go. There he is. Look how beautiful he is. He's wearing a hat. He is a baldy. Like I said, he was made by Infinite Dreamborns on Facebook. You see how gorgeous he is he's the sun like I said I have him in my window the sun is shining on him which is the most um, telling so that you can see how painting really is and see how beautiful he has reed lashes so gorgeous he is he is the George sculpt um, he is poured by silicone studios also on Facebook and they have some other sculpts that are just as beautiful as him and they look very similar to him I'll just show you how gorgeous he is let me get up close he has a big open mouth and he takes a full passy let me squish his face so you can see how good his silicone is he's got soft but firm silicone which I like I'm gonna show you his bald head so you can see his details I don't know if you can see the vein right here. See the vein going up here? Where my finger, my thumb is going? It's a vein. And he has some veining here on the side of his head or some bluing. I don't know, he does have modeling. I'm not sure if it's catching that up. I think it's catching it in the um, camera. You see that modeling? And I'm definitely keeping him bald. I have seen him rooted versions, but I really love him bald. He has a beautiful head. Yeah, there you can see the modeling. See little circles? There's his modeling. I'm just going to take that hat off because I can never do it one-handed and put it back. So he is a gorgeous boy. He's a big boy. Like I said, he wears 0 3 months and large newborn. 21 inches. He is a gorgeous boy. So there he is, all, all 21 inches of him. And like I said, he has got a very deep mouth. I'm going to show you how deep his mouth is. Look at that. I can stick my finger all the way in. Up to here. That's how far my finger goes in his mouth. Where I'm showing you. All right to here. He's got a very deep mouth. And he takes a full passy. And I don't have a passy in right now. Because I wanted you to see his beautiful face. But I just want to show you how beautifully painted he is done. And his how realistic he looks. They look at from here he looks like a real baby laying there sleeping he's gorgeous and he is the george sculpt 
been very interested. And um, Silicon Studios at Porous, him and others, all their babies look very similar. They have lots of heads for um, silica, or for snuggle babies, cuddle babies. They have one full body kit available called Scout. It's a girl. I think you can get it as a boy too. They have one full body kit and they have a lot of different options. So if you like to get one painted, just like him, go to Infinite Dreamborns on Facebook. So we're gonna, I'm going to show you real quick what he came with. Kayla sent him with some nice things. So I'm just going to hold him up here. He got this. He got this nice bib. Passy holder. A passy clip with the arrows on it, which I love that. Because as y'all know, my husband is Southern Native American. So I really like that. I'm going to give that to one of my Native babies, probably. This jacket. Really nice green jacket. It also has a Native print. Nice jacket. And Kayla has this kind of the same taste in clothes, or she knows what my taste is. I like the very classic, simple looks. So, well, I'm doing this one-handed, so I'm sorry, ladies. Anyway, I'm trying to show you this. It is a just a plain Burt Spies sleeper, gray. I love the plain colors and the plain style. This is another sleeper. Blue and white stripe with elephants. A mummy and baby elephant. There you go. There is it all stretched out. And he is beautiful. He is such a serene sleeping baby. And she sent me lots of hats, which is good because he's a baldy. Those three hats. One that he had on. And this set of hats that's new hasn't been opened yet. It's got three hats on this. Three different hats. This is a big hooded, yeah, I think it's hooded. No? Yeah. A big hooded, I guess you would call it a sleeper with a bear on it. It's polar bear. It's Carter's, and he's got ears here. Some really cute stuff she sent. And she's sitting that he came in this. He was dressed in this, but I put him in his vintage outfit. Just a plain white sleeper. Which I really like that. I love being able to dress the babies in white. And real babies, as you know, are pretty difficult to dress in white. Some sockies. Some sockies. And he has those mittens on. Those came with him. White mittens. Another pair of sockies. He's got lots of socks. Because he's a snuggle baby, cuddle baby. And last, he came with these nice new patties. So there's my sweet boy. I just want to show you him this morning. You can see the sunlight shining in on him. You can see how gorgeous he is. I just love to look at him. I can't, had a stressful day yesterday. I did pour... Um, those limbs and let me tell you every step of the way was very frustrating and stressful But they actually came out the best pour I have actually had with limbs before Not just that skull, but um, I mean not just those molds, but any molds So that was good for all the frustration and stress. They came out pretty well I Actually had all the fingers which I was excited about Because sometimes when you pour they get bubbles and they don't have they make you not have fingers <laughs> It pops and then you have no fingers on the hand but have all ten fingers had all ten fingers on there I did have two fingers that were a little bit flattened and one thumb had a bubble but that was it one hand was actually pretty close to perfect so I was excited about that it came out well for all of that so I poured I only poured two arms the two arms and the belly plate um, and Saturday, tomorrow, I'm going to pour the legs. And one of the things that happened, like I said, that was one of the stressors, 
was I went to um, put a little bit more color tint in the silicone. And I should have just left it as it was, but I didn't. And I ended up putting too much blue in it. So I thought, well, I'm going to have an avatar, maybe. And then I corrected it with um, the flesh color. And so now the colors are, um, the limbs are very uh, biracial looking, which is fine with me. But that means I will have to pour another head because the first head I poured was um, Caucasian. So I'll go ahead. I have enough silicone, so I'm going to go ahead and pour, probably pour another head just so it will match the limbs and belly plate. So I'll probably pour a head when I pour the legs. Yeah, the legs. So, but I'll show you as soon as I get the legs done, and I'll probably pour another head. I'll, I'll show you those after I do that. So just wanted to let you know. I wanted you to see this gorgeous boy today. And if y'all want one of your own or one similar, like I said, there's not other sculpts available, but they look similar to him. They have another sculpt called Scout, and she's gorgeous too. She has bigger lips, like fuller lips. I just want to show you my gorgeous Georgie. I named him Georgie. His sculpt is George, but I put an E on there. So I named him Georgie. And I've been in love with him since he sent pictures, but in person, he is even more realistic and more stunning in person. And like I said, he is actually the most realistic um, silicone that I have besides Royal. He's very realistic looking. The way he's painted. He's beautiful. So just want to show you Georgie. There'll be more videos with Georgie. I'm probably going to be doing um, some change in videos with him. I'll be doing all kinds of videos and I can do a feeding video because like I said he has a big open mouth so I can feed him some fake formula or fake formula bottle. He's not a drinking wet but I mean I could feed him his fake formula bottle. He won't know the difference. Look how beautiful he is and I love how she did that upper lip. Yeah she did that. I don't know if y'all know my viewers you know what this is called. It actually has a name. That little piece of skin that goes from your nose to the top of her lip. I love how she painted that. It's so pretty. Anyway, here's my gorgeous boy, Georgie. He wants to say hi to all his aunties and make his debut. So I will be back soon um, with y'all. I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you stay safe and stay blessed. and Have a wonderful rest of the day.